Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Second Battle of Springfield located in Greene County, Missouri on January 8th. 1863. When Confederate Major General Thomas C. Hindman heard of the loss at Prairie Grove, he ordered Brigadier General John Marmaduke to raid into Missouri. Splitting his men into two, he sent one grouping towards Hartville, while taking 2,000 of his elite troops into Springfield to set up a base. The hope was to catch the lightly defended Union troops off guard and take the town while the defenses were weak. Union Brigadier General Egbert Brown received word of the coming Confederate forces a few hours before their arrival. Realizing that most of the defenses were still at Prairie Grove, he did what he could by assembling all the remaining Union troops along with civilian volunteers and recovering wounded troops to hold off the Confederate assault. On January 8th, Marmaduke unexpectedly came across large earthen fortifications that Union troops had built up, and it was these fortifications that helped equalize the Union's defenses. Still, Marmaduke attempted to take Springfield quickly by appointing Confederate Colonel Joseph Orville Shelby to take the lead. Shelby erroneously launched multiple attacks in a piecemeal fashion, resulting in hand-to-hand -hand fighting that the Union eventually pushed the Confederate forces back with. During one of these assaults, Union General Brown was wounded but did not die, and by the end of the day, Marmaduke decided Springfield was not worth the losses. The estimated losses were 163 Union soldiers killed, wounded, and missing, while the Confederates suffered 240 soldiers killed, wounded, and captured or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.